County and Sturgeon Bay have so many treasures, so many wonderful places to enjoy ourselves and learn. This is one of those great treasures, the Door County Maritime Museum. Door County has a long history in the maritime theme, from shipbuilding to shipping to tourism coming here via boats. Back before there were good roads or good trains or communication, the waterways were our means of communication. This museum embodies many of those aspects all through the centuries of Door County's involvement in the rich maritime history. Let's go in and see some of the folks that make this museum the great place that it is. Here we are inside this gem of a museum, the Door County Maritime Museum. We're with the Executive Director, Bob Desch. How are you today, Bob? I'm great. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, can you tell me a little about the history and development of the Maritime Museum? Sure. Well, first of all, I think you need to start with just what you said. This is a peninsula, right? It's surrounded by big water. So everything that there is about the, the history of this place, it is what it is uh, because of the water. Uh, and so when you look at the development of Door County, you're looking at maritime history. Um, you know, the peninsula, everything came and went by water. Uh, the fact that there are, is lumber and stone and, and, and crops uh, within very easy uh, transportation distance of the water, that's what made the place the place. And so the, the, the museum developed to try to tell that story because um, like a, the histories of a lot of places, it's all about the people. And uh, there are families with great traditions here. I mean, the, uh, the, the, the Weebergs uh, up north, the fishing family, I mean, is still a legacy uh, in the history of the fishing industry. When you start talking about the great shipbuilding families, you know, you talk about uh, the Petersons, you talk about the Christiansons, you talk about um, the Rowans. Um, you know, these are the folks who really sort of shaped the peninsula. And they're mariners, you know. It's 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 all about that. It's all about that very complex history uh, that is tied to big water. It it the actual museum aspect, I believe, started up with a group of concerned and interested citizens in Gills Rock way back in some clandestine place in like 1969. Uh, the ideas, is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, sometime in the mid to late 60s. And uh, many of them were uh, uh, divers, uh, you know, and had recovered things from the bottom. Uh, and these are the days before Preserve in Place uh, really took over. So, you know, these folks had recovered artifacts and they were starting to a little bit worry about all of a sudden those things are leaving the county, they're leaving the peninsula. Guy recovers an anchor, guy recovers something else from a ship. So you've got all these artifacts sitting around in somebody's backyard or somebody's uh, uh, den. And then uh, there was this rich fishing his history as well, you know, so you got these families with this long legacy of, uh, of commercial fishing. And so they kind of kind of started to form like, hey, we really need to do something to, one, make sure these artifacts quit living, leaving the place and that we are really truly telling the story. And those family heritages deserve to be told. And almost simultaneously, just a couple of years apart, um, you know, the same sort of thing was happening here in Sturgeon Bay. You started to worry about uh, that, that shipbuilding legacy, the histories of those families, like the Christiansons, like the Rowans, um, that are, you know, hey, it's starting to leave. And uh, we want to do something to make sure that uh, not only those of us who still live here, uh, you know, know what it's about, but the visitor. So when they come here and go, so why is Door County Door County? It's all about the maritime history. Absolutely. And then from there, um, 
It went into preserving of the lighthouses and telling the story of the lighthouse keepers. And it was it in 1997 that this wonderful building was put together, is it correct? Actually, 1996. Uh -huh. But uh, to go back to the lighthouses briefly, same kind of thing. Uh, back in the early 70s, uh, connection between the Maritime Museum here and the Cane Island Lighthouse and that relationship with the county and the Coast Guard kind of led to where we are now with the Cane Island Lighthouse and its preservation. The same thing here. In 1996, they said, geez, you know, we've dramatically outgrown this tiny little wood building we have over near Sunset Park, you know, sandwiched between Sunset Park and the shipyard. And uh, we need something more larger, dramatic, uh, to really, truly tell the story. And so some, you know, very dedicated folks uh, really, you know, started to form the concept of this building and the merging of uh, what was going on up in Gills Rock and, you know, creating what we know as the Door County Maritime Museum today. What I like to say is if you are a visitor to Door County and you're really going to understand this place, this wonderful peninsula, you got to start here. Once you visit the Maritime Museum, everything else you do after that, whether it's a fish boil or shopping or a great meal out, um, it's gonna mean a lot more to you once you understand the history of the place. This is a place that's about bold ship captains, brave seamen, rugged uh, fishermen, you know, stalwart lighthouse keepers, uh, innovative shipbuilders. I mean, these are, these are exciting things and exciting people, and once you understand it, everything else you do here will be richer. And we're here this afternoon with the heart and soul of the Door County Maritime Museum, Trudy Herbst, the development director at this wonderful place. And Trudy, it's good to be here and uh, you constantly are changing new things here for visitors and locals alike to enjoy. Um, and our hats off to you, it's a wonderful place. I know that uh, you're having many programs coming up in the not too distant future and perhaps being highlighted with a with a great uh, gala event this summer would you care to enumerate some of those great events coming up well just in brief we have everything starting um, this month we have a maritime movie marathon which is celebrating international museum day and um, from there we go into June and we have a D-Day Remembrance, which is really special and that's a new event for us. And we're really excited to host that event and it should be a nice afternoon for us to remember what mm. happened in our history Indeed. on that and day. heroics for the locals and the yes. nation itself. Yes, yes and the, it's particularly poignant for us because we have three Coast Guardsmen who were local who were involved in that, um, mm. in that mission and um, we have a new addition to our collection that's going to be unveiled that day. Marbles, looking forward to it. Yes. Nice. And then as we move through June, we have our um, 19th Annual Lighthouse Festival. And so that's a three-day event with um, boat trips to several of our outlying lighthouses as well as our land-based lighthouses. A great complex event to organize, yes. yes. And um, then we start off with some summer concerts that are now um, hosted by the city, but are near, uh, keeping the tradition that was here from prior years. And so there's three maritime concerts during the summer. And so we have that to share with our community. They're at Martin Park, I they'll believe. Be, they'll be over at Martin Park this year. And um, then we go into our Schooner Coast celebration, which is kicking off the museum's anchor appeal for annual funds. And also the first night of that is our Ports of Call Gala. Marvelous. And I'm, I know there'll be boatloads of people coming to that Ports of Call. I hope so. And there is many reasons to come. We have some wonderful um, ref restaurants represented this year from all over the county and even in Kulgani County this year. Wonderful. And um, also we'll have um, the music of Little Vito and the Torpedoes to entertain us. Whether you're One of a, my favorites. And whether you're a dancer or not, um, it's highly entertaining playing the best of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. So it's a good time for every. So this is your principal fundraiser for the year. So it's important to keep this gem of a museum going by all of us considering that we should attend and we should benefit by being here and, and viewing all the museum has to offer and uh, give up ourselves and our and our um, um, our good fortune to help keep this museum going strong. 
You know, Dennis, you touched on one thing earlier in our conversation when you said that we have changing exhibits, and that's very important for the lifeblood of our organization. One of our programs is our exhibits, and to keep those changing and vibrant, it all comes at a cost, and so that's part of what we need to raise money for is the operations to keep to keep this exciting. Absolutely, and, and it is exciting. So we have Vito and the Torpedoes. We have wonderful dishes, some of the signature dishes of prepared and donated by the great chefs of Door County and Kiwani County. We also have music. We have um, a camaraderie. We have other things going on. We have a real special thing. We have a featured exhibit that night. We've got the in-water exhibit of the Dennis Sullivan, Wisconsin's flagship, which is a replica of a tall-masted schooner. We'll be here gracing our waterfront um, just next door to our um, in-water exhibit, the Tug John Purvis. So right on the, right on the bay itself, mm -hmm. and people will be able to, if they attend this event, be able to board the ship. They'll be able to board the ship Get and that experience. sort of nautical feeling for a half hour? It, absolutely. Um, during the cocktail hour and even afterwards, they can um, walk on board and take a deck tour of the Dennis Sullivan, and it's it's a, it's a highlight of the event. And it actually kicks off the Schooner Coast celebration. Um, the Sullivan will be here for three more days, and we offer cruises each of those days, and um, deck tours and museum admissions to the public. So there are a lot of events around the Dennis Sullivan, including a dinner cruise, uh, uh, a three-day cruise and uh, shorter cruises for those who want to experience and want to be stirred, not shaken, so to speak. I hope so. Excellent. So how do people um, find out more about the Ports of Call event and how can they get tickets? They can simply call the museum at 920-743-5958 or look online and you can order tickets online. So we're looking forward to seeing you all and Trudy and all the fine people here at the Door County Maritime Museum, July 1st at the Ports of Call Gala. A great night to share with your friends and experience yourself. So tell us, uh, how old is this tug, and how did it uh, happen to come here to Sturgeon Bay to s live its life out? Well, 92 years, built in 1919, uh, and it came here, it was uh, purchased by the Roan Steamship Company in uh, 57, and uh, then was converted uh, to the John Purvis and uh, refurbished. Um, actually, Bob Perlowitz could probably tell you a bit more about it, but. It took like 80 people, volunteers, to, to uh, refurbish it, and mega bucks. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's where you came in, right? Well, I came in after the work was done. Oh, perfect, <laughs> perfect. That's, how many meals a day, uh, and, uh, and how big a crew would eat their meals here? Well, you had three meals a day, and uh, just about everybody got up for most of the meals here. See on the chalkboard, they ate pretty good, uh, especially on Friday night with the lobster tail and shrimp. Visitors are welcome daily. The tug is open from 10 to 3 during the summer months, and we encourage you to come out for a visit and a tour of this fine vessel. It is fine. It's so beautifully restored, and to see the the different uh, bits of machinery, the beautiful wheel, the the telegraphing uh, apparatus that they would communicate with the engine room. Um, and it's just, it's just such a living museum that brings us back to a different time, a different place, and uh, allows the imagination to run as to what your life may have been like, or mine, if we were, if we were part of the crew of this fine boat. This is one of the many stories that we like to celebrate here at the museum, and we're very fortunate to have added this exhibit two years ago. Open nine to five daily, uh, all year round, and we have extended hours between the uh, uh, Memorial Day and Labor Day weekend when we're open until uh, nine to six. So 10 to five uh, during, the, during the rest of the year, nine to six during that uh, peak season. 
and uh, the Cana Island Lighthouse is open uh, essentially from May to November, and the Gills Rock Facility is open essentially from June to November.